Do a quick video showing how to remove the front cross member on your Land Rover Freelander 2. Um, this is a bit of a two part video we're doing. We've already removed the bumper and the headlights. See our other videos for that. We're now going to remove the cross member and the front air guide, which could be useful if you're going to change the intercooler, um, which is what we'll show you next. But this one's just to really take that cross member off and the front radiator. So, okay. Um, front cross member is held on on each side by four big nuts. They're 17 millimeter, so we've got a 17 mil socket here. Now we've had this off already to try and speed up the video, so the, not all the nuts are tight here. I'll give it a whip some of these off by hand. Okay, so there. Let's, let's have a look and show you what, what it is. So that's what you've got there. You've got like a combined nylock nut there with a, a washer built on. Okay, that, that's one. Two. Now, you might not be able to see all of these. Again, you wouldn't expect them to be finger tight on your car, but it just makes the video quicker. There you go. So that's those four off. Okay, let's leap over to the other side. At the bottom ones first so it doesn't fall. The last one you want to take out wants to be the top or you'll get a bit of a surprise, it will fall down. At least you can be be ready for that. Okay. Alright now I'm gonna shift over to the middle Tom, I'll just swap with you there. Okay, alright then. Okay, so so obviously this front cross members for impact protection. Okay now as we uh, Move that forward. One thing you've got to watch is the wiring. So Tom's there ahead of me. So you've got these little wiring clips. Now they they are just like fur tree fixings. I think I can get them in there. Okay. So you got. We'll show them to you in a minute how they fix in. But they're just barbed fittings basically. So if we get those two out, that should allow us to get to pull it out a bit more. Okay. All right. And then we got the. There's one here out. It's probably a good time to look at the, the sort of these sort of fir tree barbed fittings that come in. And then we pretty much get down to the exhaust. Um, the horns, sorry. So the horns live inside this cross member. There's a 10, 10 millimeter nut there. I'm going to spin off and show you. That's a bolt, sorry. So that's the bolt there that holds the twin, twin horns. And they should just... Have I got that wrong, Tom? Do they just not pull out? Yeah, it's just a little bit of a hook. You have to go forward or to your right a little bit. Ah, uh, got it. Or... That's it, pull it out there. Nice. There we go, goes there in the end. Okay, and then there's a... Okay, right now that well, let me just put the horn there, rest those there carefully, and then that allows us to uh, clear it off the asset. It's got jammed up. There we go. Right, and then if you zoom back, Tom, and show them that, that's the front cross member removed. So with the cross member removed, let's just drop those horns down, put them to to one side there. We'll then finish this video by taking this this air shroud off. Now it's got some plastic clips at the top. Okay, so right, we've got to squeeze that together, and then that should be to pull this air assembly away there. Okay, and there's one the other side. And pinch those together there, and that pulls that away. Has that got that top one now. All right. Let's clip back on, has he right? And then at the bottom, there we go. Right, you got the, this round circle here is a fir tree. Now I'll push it up from underneath if I can wiggle it up from underneath, and then you can see what it. You can see how he comes up through there. Look, okay, and that's the fir tree fixing. Okay, so you can see there that pushes down through that hole. And I'll do 
the same on this side. Again. Uh -uh. You can actually just pull the, the plastic up and it'll it'll bring it with it there, look. Okay, so that's the other fir tree fixing out. Right, if you zoom back, Tom, we can then, that just pulls forward, okay? That pulls forward, we've removed that, so we've got the, and then you've got easy access then for the intercooler change, which I'll do another video for.